Before I begin this review, I'd like to take a sip of coffee from my very own Star Wars mug with a little pork on the top. That's some good stuff. What is up, Posse? My name is Will Borland, and welcome to another review here on Alpha Omega Wolf Productions. Glass is written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan, and stars James McAvoy, Bruce Willis, and Samuel L. Jackson. As this takes place after the events of Split, where David Dunn, played by Bruce Willis, is trying to hunt down the Beast, and all the other 23 personalities, played by James McAvoy, all while Elijah Price, aka Mr. Glass, is watching, is watching from behind. So before I go into this movie, I figured it would be best to give you my thoughts on Unbreakable and Split. Um, Unbreakable. Very underrated movie. In fact, one of Shyamalan's best. Not as good as Sixth Sense, but it's definitely a very solid film. It's definitely a movie that I really got to... I watched and I really started to like Ruth Willis and Samuel L. Jackson. And Split was a surprise hit for me as well. So with Glass, I was kind of looking forward to seeing what he would bring to the table. And I'm not gonna lie... I'd be lying if I said I wasn't underwhelmed a little bit with this movie. Let's go over uh, the good stuff first. Um, I have to say, probably the most entertaining part of the movie was James McAvoy doing all these, all, all these different personalities. Like, he did it so professionally, and I just greatly applaud him. I'm really liking his work more and more. And uh, seeing the trailer for Dark Phoenix, I'm really looking forward to watching him in that. But we're going to be talking about Glass right now. I also think the acting was really well done, and it had some solid directing uh, too. The performances, especially from James McAvoy, Bruce Willis, and Samuel L. Jackson, were very solid, and I definitely think this is where Shyamalan started to get back on track, where the acting started to get better. Because, as we all know, his acting could get a little hokey. I have a few problems, uh, but uh, unfortunately, I can count them on one hand. First off, I have to say that the villain in this movie, Elijah Price, aka Mr. Glass. He was very underused. Okay. The name of this movie is Glass. We don't see Glass, without giving too much away, until almost the halfway point. And even when we do see him, he hardly does anything in this movie. Also, another problem would have to be the third act. I was following this movie fine throughout the first two thirds of the movie. But when the climax and the third act came, I felt really underwhelmed, and I felt also felt like it dragged on for way too long. And uh, the twist that came with this movie, it's just kind of mind-boggling. I'll get to that in a spoiler video, I guarantee that. It'll probably be up either tomorrow or Monday. But in the end, Glass is just an okay movie. It's not Shyamalan's worst film, because we all know what movie that is, but it's definitely not on the level of, say, The Sixth Sense or Unbreakable. It has strong performances, good directing, um, a decent sense of humor, um, but just a really, under, a really bad third act and possibly one of the more disappointing climaxes I've seen in a movie. I am going to give uh, Glass a 6 out of 10. Guys, that just about does it for this review. If you did enjoy this video, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content. Stay tuned because there's going to be a spoiler review of Glass coming up, uh, like I said before, either tomorrow or Monday. It depends on my work schedule. Uh, I'm looking forward to talking into more detail about this movie with you guys. Um, and I'm definitely looking forward to reviewing more movies for you guys. but. I'll have to see what, what to work and my class schedule is like. So, until next time, see you later, posse.